everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas and I'm just going to do an open cut pour on it. And um, let's go over my paints. My base coat today is the Blick Relic Blackout White. And I've heard Tammy Anderson mention that if you're having trouble with the Artist Law Flow Acrylic White, to try this uh, Blick Blackout White that it works just as well as the old uh, Artist Law Flow Acrylic White. And uh, my next paints are a combination of Ellie's Evergreen Shimmer and Maria's Lake Forest Metallic. And those are Porridge Posse paints. And I do want to show you that color that I, one was dark, one was light, and I just wanted an in-between color. And here I'm also showing you consistency. It is on the thicker side today. Quite thick, quite thick paints than I'm used to here. My next paint is the Porridge Posse Moody Blue Shimmer. And again, I want to show you that paint, how pretty it is. My next paint is Rust-Oleum Metallics. Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents, and it's their classic bronze. And I just found this color. I'm not sure if it's a new color in their line, but I'm hoping that you can just see that shimmer in that paint. Very pretty. My next color is the Porridge Posse Paint Gold Rush. Let me show you that one. It's a lighter gold. Very pretty. My next paint again is the Porridge Posse Paints Ocean Teal Blue. And I believe the, the correct pronunciation of these paints is Porridge Posse. That's one of my favorite colors in Christina Welsh's line. Very pretty color. My last color is a combination of Parage Posse Snow White Iridescent, and I wanted to add some um, satin enamel, and I did pick up a little jar of the Oops paint at one of the paint stores, and it is the Dutch Boy Satin Enamel, and it's a really light ro robin egg blue color. So I combined that with the Parage Posse Snow White Iridescent Pearl. And I'll show you that color. Very, very light blue. All my paints today are mixed seven parts the mix to one part paint, and I did thin a little bit with water. Now, those of you that have been asking what is the mix, let me show you the container here, and I will put in the description Chris, Krista's email address to order this and let me read it to you um it says glossy clear archival acrylic pouring medium for use in your acrylic pores now when you use the mix you don't need to add any other type of a pouring medium or flow trawl uh gack or anything you can just mix seven parts mix to one part paint again I will list Krista's uh, email address in the description. So what I'm going to do is layer my cup and then just do a open cup pour. So I'm going to turn the camera off, take care of some of my paints. I'm gonna paint the corners and the edges of my canvas, bring you back and we'll layer that cup. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've put my um, base coat around the edges and the corners. And here I'm just filling my cup. And I think I get about two layers of each color, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I'm striving to get about 12 ounces of paint here, which I end up, I think, getting about 14. This is a 16 ounce cup here I'm using. And I got my inspiration for this pour from Mina Villegas of Mina Villegas Art. And I will list her name in the description. 
And there I put down just a little puddle of my base coat. Like I said, it's just an open cut pour. Here I'm just giving it a quick torch. I am doing a voiceover for this part of the video and I have sped it up here quite a bit just to save you time in watching. And here I put the base coat down just as an extender to help that paint move as I start tipping it. Again, that was the uh, Blickrylic Blackout White that I used as the base coat. Just giving it another quick little torch here. And you can take your time with the tipping process. I did take quite a bit of time when it's not sped up to, um, to really consider everything I wanted to keep and what I wanted to run off for this painting. And when we give you the close up, you're going to see what the mix allows to happen with your painting. Different layers, the transparency in the different layers. You can see um, one layer under another layer. So at this point, I'm just going to take off some of that white in the middle there. Wasn't too happy with that amount. And by using that satin enamel, you can see all the little um, cells I got up there. Not really a cloudy effect, but more of just little white cells. Again, when I get you down for the close up, you're just going to see all the different effects that I did get in this painting. I was pretty happy with it. Still working on just the tipping process here. Just getting it the way I want and making sure that I do get enough of the paint off. I'm always cleaning off my edges and my corners, checking corners as I go along. Here I'm just trying to pull out some of the paint, some of the effects. I have some of those little fingerlings going on in the painting and I'm just trying to pull them out a little bit. So I'm running off some paint here and there where I think I can afford to. Here I'm giving it another torch. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close up and I am showing you the whole painting. I am just thrilled with the way this turned out. Let me show you. This is the upper left hand corner. And with that mix, it allows that transparency to see a lot of layers come up underneath other layers. Just so very pretty here. I do like these little fingerlings we got. Just going down the left hand side here to the lower left hand corner. I am glad some of that bronze showed up in here and I'm hoping that that will be really uh, sparkly and metallic once this painting dries. Some more of those little fingerlings there. Here is the middle. I think that turned out just fabulous, that middle part. And there, that looks like some kind of nebula. It's like a galaxy pour. And I do get a lot of inspiration from Mina Villegas. So watch her channel if you get the chance. This is another um, effect the mix gives. Right here, you can see all those different layers. It looks like sky there. And I'll take you over to the upper right-hand corner. We'll go down the right-hand side here. Turned out very nice in here. That bronze just peeking through.
This is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if, if you liked it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. If you haven't subscribed, please, please consider doing so to help my channel grow. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thanks so much for spending time with me today. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.